everybody. I'm going to try something a little different today. I've been finding a lot of ephemera in a weekly newspaper that we have here in Phoenix. And I'm going to do a, a share a little bit later on about finding ephemera in different sources. Um, although there are lots and lots of ephemera packs that I want to buy, like at Michael's and Joann's. But to save a little money, I've been looking at old books and um, magazines and then, like I mentioned, the weekly newspaper, it's called The New Times and lots of cities have the same type of uh, publication. And I'll just quickly share with you some of the things I've found. And one of my favorite things to do now is to sit down with one of the magazines or newspapers and go through with my X-Acto knife and cut out images that I think would be fun to put in a layout. And so hopefully those are showing up pretty well on camera. Since they are newsprint, um, the colors are not quite as vibrant as they would be in a magazine. I really liked this one, this steampunk guy. So. Um, the Mary Atelier had recently posted a tag swap that she had done and she had completed a tag with some ephemera and um, actually it was a Rolodex CAD, which I didn't know that those were around until I saw her video. Um, so it was like an index card a day, but it was made out of a Rolodex tab, and I thought that was a really neat idea. Um, and some of the ephemera that she used in it, just I was drooling over. I really wanted to go find that Tim Holtz pack. But in the meantime, I'm going to start using some of these things that I find. And um, I'm going to do a media transfer with this one. I first debated, and I'd love to hear feedback about this, if you've ever used clear gesso over sort of thin paper um, and if it helped beef it up for you so that you could actually paint or draw on it, um, that's my next try. I just don't have clear gesso. So what I'm going to do is attempt a, an image transfer with this and I'm first going to cover the surface in gesso and I'm using the very bottom of a barrel of gesso that I had bought right before I went on a spending freeze last year. And, uh, or actually it was still 2014, it was just very early 2014 I was on a spending freeze and I knew I needed to get a big thing of gesso before I went on the freeze. Um, and this gesso is still doing great. It just has a lot of the, um, those little pilly pieces that you see in acrylic paint and gesso. I think just because it's at the bottom and they probably the little pieces had sunk to the bottom. So I'm going to try to pick any of those out if they show up. And this one, luckily enough, I'm not seeing a whole lot of them. And so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. And of course you could always speed it up with a heat gun. Okay, so now that that page is dried, I'm going to take a little bit of Liquitex Matte Gel. And... this in. I think you could use a bone folder for this. I'm just a little nervous that I would tear the paper so I'm just going through with my fingers and just making sure that it's flat on there with no bubbles.
And then for this part, I'm, I am going to let it air dry. Uh, because if I heat the matte gel medium, I think it will bubble up and the image will not come out very well. So I'm just going to let that air dry. Okay, so now I'm just going to spray some water. sink in for a bit and since this is the first time I've done a, an image transfer with newsprint I am just going to see I don't know if you can see it on camera but I can see a little bit of the image through the back And I'm just lightly rubbing this off since I don't want to tear the image itself. So you can see the flowers coming through. And this might be a new favorite way to do image transfers because this is going a lot faster than some of the ones that I've done in the past. Okay, so see I did do a little tear there, so I need to go a little bit more gently. And in the areas where the paper doesn't have any print on it, I'm just going to gently rub those away. always add more water as you're going. And then my plan was also to, if there was um, any areas that it was hard to get some of the newsprint up, I can always either paint over those uh, I'll probably end up using either distress inks or uh, some type of watercolor derwent. The ink tints I might use to go around some of the borders. And now that I've found out that this is a good way to go for image transfers, it really opens up a Pandora's box because, like I said, I find tons and tons of images in that weekly newspaper, plus you could go into a regular newspaper and there's also, there's always cool images and text and things like that that you could pull out and do this with and then um, all you really need is some fairly sturdy paper to do your transfer onto, and then the gel medium. I've never tried this with gloss gel medium. I don't know how that, if it would change anything. But this is actually, even though it, it kind of looks dirty around that, it doesn't really bother me because it's, you know, it's sort of, adds to the vintagey look that ephemera has, a lot of ephemera has. So I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup here and then the image will be ready to paint. So I thought since this already has black and white going on. I could use some black soot to go around the image. Got 
some little fuzzies in there. And then if there are areas that it got a little bit messed up, you could just go in with some paint or Distress ink. And then I'm going to squeeze on my water brush to get the black to fade out as it gets further away from the image. like some of the natural patterns that watercolor just does on its own and it spreads around and then you can get some really nice little effects there without really intending to. It just sort of does its own cool thing. edges I would add some aged mahogany since this is one of my favorite distress ink colors. So now you have a nice background. that already has a really nice floral image and you could let this air dry or hit it with your heat gun and then start creating over it. but gotta say I'm really excited to start using this as a new material to work with. Thanks for watching!